This project is part of the cumulative impact monitoring program and it's looking at the variability and changes on subarctic lakes. These lakes are a big part of the ecosystem in subarctic and uh, the community that living on land in that area. Fifth Laurier University collaborates with Aurora uh, Research and Institutes and also uh, closely working with government of Northwest Territories. And we are hoping with these collaborations we can actually help the community to understand the changes of lake ecosystem better in this changing climate. This project is divided to three different objectives. One of the aspects of the project is monitoring snow. Second one is ice, and then third one is water. So we are basically trying to connect the dot from the atmosphere, snow, ice, and water columns with students with different expertise. Throughout my time as um, a graduate student, my research has focused on mapping and monitoring lake snow. Areas with a deeper snow depth are expected to have a thinner ice thickness, and areas with a shallower snow depth are expected to have a thicker ice thickness. And so more specifically, we have been looking at using ground penetrating radar and drones to map the spatial distribution of snow depth over lake ice. GPR acquisitions are collected through pulling the system behind a snowmobile across the lake and use that to derive the shallow snow depth incorporating the drone, we can image the snow surface and we can actually make it more of a continuous mapping. For the 2022 to 2023 water years, we have seen a 50% increase already for snowfall compared to last year and it's expected to continue to change. We're going to see this variability and so this research allows us to help monitor future changes. In the Northwest Territories, we're installing ice sensors across small lakes and these ice sensors are able to read temperatures through air, snow, ice, and water. And through those temperatures, we're able to see how thick the ice is and how thick the snow is. And we're able to do that remotely in real time. This year has been particularly interesting with the amount of snow that we've gotten in, in the Yellowknife region. Uh, so what we're seeing is that the ice is a lot thinner in some lakes and the ice is different. So this year there's a lot more slush that happened early in the season and that affected everything downstream. So the research is very significant for northern communities who rely on lake ice for everyday life. So ice safety is always top of mind for, for many northerners. One of the outcomes we're trying to get out of this is to answer the question, how will the ice roads change and if they'll continue to be like viable, for example, for transportation. So through kind of applying this knowledge that we're learning into a model that we're building on and expanding, we're trying to answer that question, but also look at, well, how can we incorporate some of those findings into operational use? The research I'm doing is looking at seasonal differences of arsenic in small subarctic lakes near Yellowknife. The government of the Northwest Territories has ongoing health advisories for the community in terms of drinking, water, and recreation in the area. These small subarctic lakes, they're typically ice covered for almost half the year. And to date, there's been very little research done on looking at arsenic specifically throughout the winter. So the goal of this research was to help better understand how arsenic is cycling or moving in the water and what that looks like from differences in the summer. The most interesting and rewarding part of the research is when you actually get out on the lakes. And it was cool to experience two different environments of being out on the ice and in the open water in a canoe. Just being a part of capturing that process and utilizing different tools to understand that. Working on uh, lake ice during the winter time is not easy. However, with all the challenges, all the students agree that this is the best part of the research. It is very exciting and you learn a lot of new things that you don't learn here from the South. So part of that experience really builds character and working as a team is kind of fundamental to our, our objectives as a team here at Laurier. Part of the training, working as a team during the very challenging time is part of the work that I'm very proud of. And uh, see them enjoying and growing at the same time is the best part of, of my work.